Hi, this is Joan Hunter. Welcome to a extra special, exciting session television show of Miracles Happen. Today, my very special guest is Jean Bailey from Flashpoint. And I tell you what, you'll want to stay tuned because this is going to be absolutely phenomenal. We'll be right back. Welcome to Miracles Happen. Joan Hunter has been traveling the world in the healing ministry for more than 45 years. Be aware of what the enemy is trying to do to you and say, no more. She is hosted around the world for healing and miracle services because wherever she goes, miracles happen. Joan shares her tenacious faith in how to pray for the sick. Bringing people here and sending them out to the four corners of the earth. That's my job. She traveled the world with her parents, Charles and Francis Hunter, for over 30 years. I expect a miracle tonight. Joan sees healing, signs, and wonders happen all the time in the name of Jesus, and she wants to share this with you. As anointed as I am, so are you. Whether it's filmed on location at Joan Hunter Ministries in Tomball, Texas, or from around the world, you can be sure to hear good news and receive the resounding message that miracles happen. God has anointed in the area of healing, body, mind, soul, spirit, and finances. So stay tuned and join us for this week's extraordinary episode of Miracles Happen. God is a God of hope who heals the body, spirit, and soul. Are you ready for your miracle? Miracles Happen. When I was a little boy, I, we, we went to the Christian and Missionary Alliance Church, and uh, I probably shouldn't have said which one now. But anyway, so I used to sit there, and this is back when they had no cushions on the seats like you guys have. They were just wood pews, and I used to be so bored in church. So I would count the slats in the ceiling until my dad would, as his term, jerk a knot in my tail um, and make me wake up. But the, uh, the important thing here is I didn't know as a little boy that I was going to be uh, doing what I do now. I got saved at that same church in uh, 1968 at Vacation Bible School. So any Vacation Bible School people here? All right, good, good. All right, so I want to talk about something, and uh, I love the fact that this is breakthrough but I want to talk a little bit about Flashpoint and, um, and where we're at with that. Uh, Flashpoint started, it's, as if you, does anybody not know what Flashpoint is? Okay, a few people. Okay, great. That's all right. Um, <clears throat> I expect tonight you will go home and watch. <laughs> uh, Flashpoint was developed as a TV program, started in 2020, 2016. Uh, Sorry, September 16th, 2020. Uh, <clears throat> my boss, I still work for Kenneth Copeland Ministries, and Brother Copeland called me one day in September and said, Gene, if we don't do something about this election, we're going to have a real mess on our hands. So I said, yes, sir, because I'm over the Victory Channel. That's part of my responsibilities. And so we hung up, and I had this idea. I, had, I have a friend, a crazy friend, Lance Wallnow, and uh, he's like the absent-minded professor. I mean, literally, people have to walk behind him to pick up stuff because he, anyway. Um, and then I have another friend, Hank Kuhneman, Pastor Hank, who I'd recently become friends with. And they were saying the same thing. So we got together, uh, and within 24 hours, we went on the air uh, with Flashpoint, talking about prophecy, politics, government, current events, and whatever else we decide to talk about. So it's been a... God has just really blessed the program. It's gone around the world. Um, we've met with a lot of great people. Um, President Trump uh, did an interview with him, and we did a uh, few phone calls with him, and more is coming. So I'd love for you to watch it. You can watch it. If you want those of you on TV, you can go to govictory.com slash flashpoint, and you can figure out how to watch it, but it's on DISH. It's on DirecTV, it's on Roku, it's not on YouTube at the moment because we got kicked off. Not because of Flashpoint, but because the Victory Channel had this crazy show on in the mornings called 
morning prayer. That's just really bad. And then I'm still not really sure what the only thing we can figure is all we do in the mornings at that, that program is we take prayer requests that people call in over the phone and pray over uh, what, they, what they're dealing with. And I think they prayed over for healing from COVID-related um, issues. And boy, that just, they went crazy. <laughs> crazy talking about healing. Uh, so, <laughs> so we got... We got our third strike, so I don't know if we'll even be back. But don't look at YouTube. Look at Rumble or Getter or the website or on our Facebook. You can always find it. Um, <clears throat> so that, that's what that's about. And I thank you for that. Prior to Flashpoint, I, I've had a show since 2015. I still host it. It's called Revival Radio TV. And on that program, we really research revival. And it, what was happening at our church, Eagle Mountain Church, at, the, at that time, we were having a real move of God coming through the church. It was amazing. It's an amazing thing. So I got talking with our senior pastor, George Pearsons, and we started talking about old videos of things that had gone on before. And he started showing me some Oral Roberts memorabilia, and I showed him some of mine. And anyway, we were talking up something. See, when you talk up something, what you spend your time talking about is what you'll do. So uh, I decided, like, hey, guys, there, let's talk about, let's do, we just launched a radio uh, on the Internet, a radio network, and so we wanted to do a show called Revival Radio. Um, so I said, I got to the couple of guys, and uh, this is how wild this was. Uh, I was working in the television department at that point, and so I had a, a lady behind me that was volunteering in the church. And so I was talking to my friend Chris, who's a, a brainiac and historian, and we were talking, and Linda, uh, we were talking about this, and she goes, well, well you know my history, don't you? I'm like, no, I don't know your history. You know, you're a volunteer. I, I just met you. She said, well, my grandfather worked very closely with Amy Simple McPherson, and I uh, used to travel with him. Angelus Temple. So I'm like, okay, well, you need to be involved in what we do. So I figure, well, how many, how many revivals are there? Like 10? I mean, that's, that's how ignorant I was. Because, I, I mean, you say the word revival, most people think of uh, Azusa Street or maybe uh, some revivals that happened overseas. And you really can't, it's hard to come up with 10 revivals. But what we found was a treasure trove of what God has been doing. And so we've been doing that show every week, talking about how God was moving, whether it was back in the, back in the old days, going back to the 1600s, the way we got our constitution, the way we work in finding out uh, the history of America. See, I was doing all this thinking I was talking about revival. And it applied to that. But then we went further into uh, current day stuff, like with A.A. A. Allen, uh, in the great uh, Miracle Valley, Arizona, where he had his stuff in a big tabernacle. And we did a lot of stuff with that. So it was great. So I was, doing, I was very happy with what we were doing. And uh, I didn't need another television show. And then Flashpoint came and kind of swallowed up everything. So part of the reason for the book was that people, I immediately got called once Flashpoint took off. And they said, well, are you not, you know, are you not about revival anymore? You're not about ministry anymore? You're about politics now? I'm like, you know, you're missing the point. Yeah. Because revival and what's happening in our nation have come together. Yeah. And what a flashpoint is, is that moment, that moment when things ignite and explode. And that's what we were dealing with uh, <clears throat> in the election. So listen, I'm going to say right here, disclaimer. Joan doesn't know what I'm going to talk about. And so it, you can't blame her. So don't blame her. Uh, <clears throat> I am not against the Democrats. Uh, I'm against both parties, to be honest with you, uh, because there's a lot of corruption in both. Uh, so just want to make sure you know that. So if I say Democrat, it's not because I'm anti-Democrat. I'm anti-corruption. I'm anti-evil. Are you all with me on that? Yeah. All right. All right. See, that was good. You kind of reacted. That was great. Just, I just got to say the right thing, and boy, everybody gets all upset. 
talk about the election. Uh, let's talk about gas prices. Yeah, okay. Must be electric car drivers out there or something. You know, let me just say this, a little departure. You know, everybody, they're pushing towards electric vehicles, and some of the crazy things are, and I can pick on Reed because he owns an electric car, okay? So I can pick on him. So, you know, we, they just gave this great, uh, I forget what you call it, but it, it, credit to automakers for to uh, lower prices. So they immediately rose them. They rose their prices. They they raised them up eight thousand. Ford raised their prices eight thousand, and then discounted them eight. So you feel like you you got something off. They're also Ford laid off three thousand workers, or is in the process of it because they're moving all to electric vehicles. Yet nobody can tell you what happens to a battery, a car battery, when it doesn't work anymore. You can't bury it. You can't put it in the ground. You can't dump it in the ocean. You know, what are you going to do with all, all these electric vehicle car batteries? And they're massive. Have you ever seen it? It's like the whole bottom of the car. It's crazy. See, this is how ridiculous what we're dealing with is right now. It's, it's always, look at this while this is happening. Yeah. You ever notice that? There's always a deflection or a distraction going on, and that's what we're dealing with. So you can really say, now I'm going to segue into our message, that we in America are in some real unique areas of transition. Yeah. You know, you remember when transition, you know, used to be an okay word? <laughs> you remember when gay used to be okay to say? <laughs> you know, so now you say, oh, I'm transitioning. No, I mean, I'm moving from one to the other, you know. You can't say that anymore. Uh, <laughs> it's all right, I'm entertaining myself up here. <laughs> Sheesh, you people. I'm in from Fort Worth. Make sure you gave me the offering. All right. <laughs> Transitional moments is what we're dealing with. And this is what I really want to, in all seriousness, that's what I really want to deal with tonight because this is a very much a key to your breakthrough. Amen? Amen. All right. Joan Hunter Ministries travels around the world sharing the healing power of God. Joan Hunter Ministries is touching lives all over the world through live streaming events, books and teachings, and our prayer call center where miracles happen daily. All of this is made possible by your prayers and support. When you partner with Joan Hunter Ministries, you not only bless those who receive the message, but you open a supernatural flow of blessing into your own life. Today is the day that my God's gonna supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. Today is the day that God's going to point to me as an example of His incredible wealth. To become a monthly partner with Joan Hunter Ministries, call 1-281-789-7500 or go to joanhunter.org. Today is a day of alignment. Today is a day for financial breakthrough. Today is a day for your healing. Today is a day I don't have to wait any longer for the promises. Go to joanhunter.org to give a one-time gift or text any amount you'd like to give to 281 781-1507. Become a partner with Joan Hunter Ministries today. Miracles are happening everywhere, and now you can proclaim it everywhere you go with the Miracles Happen t-shirt and blanket. The t-shirts come in all sizes and a variety of colors, as well as with rhinestones and without. The Miracles Happen t-shirt is available for men and women. Get your shirt today and watch as God opens doors for you to pray for the sick around you. Both the Miracles Happen t-shirts and blanket are a constant reminder for all of us that miracles happen everywhere. And check out His Healing Promises. His Healing Promises is a selection of scriptures on healing read by Joan Hunter. If you need encouragement about your healing or faith to trust in God in a difficult time, this is for you. Let your spirit be lifted, your hope restored as you listen to God's healing promises over your life. Go to miraclesappen.tv now to order your Miracles Happen t-shirt, blanket, or your copy of His Healing Promises. Or call 281-789-7500. Hi, this is Joan Hunter. I just want to tell you, this is the most exciting year that I have ever experienced in my entire life. People say, retire, no, refire. This is the year that God has called this ministry to go way beyond what we've ever gone before. We are planning on right now, we have six countries in Africa scheduled. We have Pakistan scheduled. 
uh, Iceland scheduled and many other places scheduled for next for the year 2023. You have an opportunity to be a part of that and helping us get to where we need to go and feed the people spiritually, teach them about healing of finances, teach them about the healing of their body, not only that, but their mind and their soul, and getting rid of trauma. One of the times that we have been in Africa to pray over the trauma and to see the people totally, completely set free of the trauma and the fear is absolutely amazing. I want you to be a part of what we're doing here at Joan Hunter Ministries in 2023. You can donate at joanhunter.org. Be sure to tag it missions. Any of you that would donate over $100 or more, then I want to send you a copy of this book. And this is an awesome, amazing, miraculous book, Healings, Miracles, and Supernatural Experiences. Subtitle is Healing for Haiti. It's our experience that we had in Haiti. Uh, and there was many people that didn't have the money to go. We ended up and took 38 people who had to believe God for it. The, the expense was $250,000. We went down there totally debt free. And I'm, I'm going to encourage you. It's going to be probably somewhere between one and a half million to $2 million for our outreaches next year as we touch the world. And you get to be a part of that. And the millions of people that are going to come to Jesus because of your donation and setting us around the world. And God bless you. Thanks for praying about it. God bless. I want to welcome Jean Bailey to the show today, and I know you're going to be really blessed. Welcome. Thank you. I Josh, just appreciate you. I appreciate and, you. And uh, we're going back, and we didn't realize this, that, how, that we've actually known each other probably in 40 years. No, no. <laughs> That's right. When we were both really That's young. That's right. We were and, very young. And naturally brunette or blonde, right. whichever, you know. And... Uh, but it's amazing how our paths have crossed through the true. years, yeah. but they're definitely more involved now. Amen. Uh, yeah. Which is awesome. Well, I have a few questions I want to ask okay. you. Go ahead. Um, I know some of the some of the answers of this, and and the whole, and it's like all of a sudden, one day you get a phone call, and it's like we need to do something, and you're you're sitting in your office doing a great job at the school up there and different things like that, and and then all of a sudden. You, you've got this burning desire to do more. There's got to be more. There's got to be more. Some of you are watching. You're going, there, I, I, there's got to be more. There's got to be more. And God's got you here for more than what you're doing. And then all of a sudden, in literally a moment of time, everything changed for Gene. So share with us about how that happened. Well, I sure will. And, you know, the, the interesting, the, the time you're talking about was September 16th, 2020. And uh, up to that point, my future was, I'm going to get a tent. I'm going to get a tent, and I'm going to go on the road. Awesome. You know, I'm going to get Brother Copeland to support me, and we're going to go on the road and watch Signs, Wonders, and Miracles. It's still, still in there. And he called and said, hey, Gene, um, I was actually in my backyard working in the yard when he called on us, and he said, hey, Gene, you, he didn't say, hey, Gene. He goes, Gene, if we don't do something about this election, we're going to be in big trouble. And I said, he said, you need to do something on the network. Yes, sir. Hung up, and I'm like, "What am I gonna do?" So all I knew the ball's was, "Ball's in your court." Yeah, you ball's in my court. <laughs> That's my the network is my responsibility. So I, I didn't have the heart to put that on anybody else because they were working so much. So I went inside and talked to Terry about it, and I said, I, "We're gonna do this." But your I, wife, Terry, my wife, Terry, okay. and I'm like, "You gotta know what this might mean. It's gonna be extra work for me, but it's only for a few weeks. Because September to November, right. and we'll be done." <laughs> So she agreed. <laughs> Several and, years later. Yeah. And so, you know, we started the next night, Thursday night. And um, it was almost immediate that we knew this was something special. This was something that just exploded. We, I was so bold, such a big man of faith. I did the first one on Facebook because I wanted to make sure it didn't win okay. So if you go back on Victory Channel Facebook far enough, <laughs> somewhere way back there, it's there. And I just did it with Lance Wall now. Because mm -hmm. Lance and I were friends. I knew Lance can talk. This will be easy. It was great. We I knew Lance could talk. That's and, funny. <laughs> uh, well, I had these two crazy friends, Lance Wall now and Pastor Hank Kuhneman. And they both say the same things, but from different, they didn't right, know each other. Uh -huh. They didn't know each other. So I'm like, this will be interesting. What if I put them on the air at the same time? And so the next week or a couple weeks later, I, Hank was on. And then I'm like, something's missing. So we, uh, I saw Mario on uh, 
on something, and I, and I knew that Lance knew him. And I said, hey, do you know Mario Morello? Because I'd followed Mario through the years. And so, sure enough, he comes on, and it's like, okay, this is something that God put together. And we just watched the viewership explode. Explode and, is an understatement. Yeah, it's just gone, it's gone crazy. You know, it's just, but it's a God thing, Holy Spirit-led. Um, people don't believe me when I say that we don't really plan out every show. We have some topics. I have a few videos I th I'm thinking, right. but inevitably I go somewhere that the crew's not ready for and, and we they have to scramble, but we, we do it live, you know, every mm -hmm. Tuesdays and Thursdays. So uh, it just took off from there. So. I, I tell people, I said, we got Gene Bailey coming. Oh, from Flashpoint, I trust that, you know, I watch it every week, you know, and, and I mean, you know, there are people that absolutely love you, and quite a few people, actually, quite a few millions, but but the point is, uh, here literally in a split moment, That's you're right. you're I able like to touch the mm -hmm. world, right. and there are a lot of people, millions probably watching, that don't live in America. No, definitely. We're usually you know? 40 to 50 countries every, mm -hmm. every Isn't that country. awesome? I, I it love is. it. And uh, and the thing is, it's like, you know, and I'm, I'm not saying that you're not going to do a tent, but what I'm saying is that, you know, you can reach a lot of people in a tent. You can. You know, maybe a thousand here, a thousand there kind of a thing. But when you're talking about the millions right. that you're presenting the gospel to in news and and you're not like, okay, now we're going to do it on there. You know, you, know yeah. you and Lance and, and Mario and Hank and everybody, you know, who are, I've, I'm, Mario is more of an acquaintance. The others are friends. And it just get together. Hey, let's go. Let's have some water. Let's have fun on the set. And, yeah. You know, and make it so incredibly fun. And it's like, and all of a sudden you're realizing you're actually hearing the news. That's right. You know, instead of it just being mundane. So, well, it, you well, know, personalities and, and get. And, that's right. And I think it helps not paying attention in civics class in high school. <laughs> I just, you know, I was like, okay, can I please get out of this class? And so I've been learning along with the public. Mm -hmm. You know, the viewers watch and we learn together uh, how things flow and operate. And uh, it's been amazing, though, watching, especially in America, how people are starting to. Everybody's much more cognizant of what a secretary of state does, what a governor does, how important a sheriff is. I didn't realize, I mean, I knew he's law enforcement, but a sheriff is very important in your local county. So this is, uh, it's been an amazing yeah, Polk journey. County, Polk County in Florida, I think they got the best sheriff ever. Yeah, he's, he's great. He's great, you know, just amazing yeah. what he's so, done. So, I mean, it's been, it's been great. We learn, we learn what's going on. But I think in America, after 2020, our collective eyes have been opened to what's really going on. We all, there's some of us that were suspecting some things weren't right. And we really thought Trump would be back in by, for sure, by January 20th. And when that didn't happen, it really rocked the Christian world because mm -hmm. he was our, he was our guy and mm -hmm. he needs to be in. And um, when that didn't happen right away, it really caused everybody to go, wait a minute, I've got to. I've got to check my faith, check my heart. Mm -hmm. Where am I at and all this? But thank God that we have what we've seen since then, so much corruption, so many things that we didn't think were there in America. We're seeing, okay, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got a lot of cleanup to happen. Mm -hmm. And if Trump was back tomorrow, we still have a lot of work to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Yeah, so, he's got a whole lot more work to do than he right. did previously. And, and the thing is, it's like, um, and on behalf of the prophets who right. heard from God that he was going to be reelected, they were not wrong. No, they're not. Okay. And so people might go, oh, I'm turning this off right now. But they weren't wrong, you know. And the thing is, is that the enemy wants to come in and to steal the truth. That's right. You know, steal the election, steal the truth, steal your dreams. Mm -hmm. That's right. You That's know, it's like I heard from God. And how come this isn't happening? You know, and, and dreams are stolen. And it's time, I always talk about, it's time that we speak resurrection life to our dreams and our visions. Ooh, that's good. That's good. You should have a TV show. I do. I, I think it's a great idea. Thank you. And, uh, but the thing is, it's like, we've, the dreams that you've had, you're, you're like living your dreams and you're living way beyond your dreams. Oh, more than I could ever. Think. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, God, I just want to reach your people, you know, an umpteen million every, twice yeah. a week, you know, and stuff. You're right. Absolutely. Yeah, and, it's been God. And people trust you. They yeah. trust Lance, 
Hank, Mario, but they trust you. Right. Well, and you know, I feel that. And it was real easy in the, well, I won't say it was easy. It was never <laughs> easy. But in the beginning, you could make more mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're like, oh, yeah, that was wrong. I had my facts wrong. I can't do that now. We, you know, there is. Oh, you'll get it. Oh, yeah. You'll still get it. Everybody, trust me. They hold me to it. <laughs> but, I mean, the, the reality is, yeah, I don't, I don't begrudge that at all. Because what it, we, there are so many great stories that we want to bring, but I can't verify it. You know, or mm -hmm. some of it's kind of crazy stuff. But, unfortunately, some of the craziest stuff has proven to be the true stuff. And some um, of that is, going to, is in the process yeah, of being exposed right is. now. It sure is. So uh, we do do feel the responsibility. I know that there are people watching that are waiting to hear what we have to say. And so we have to speak truth. So that's what we do. Let me give you a, a good slash sad example. Um, not pertaining to him per se, but here in Tomball, we have had the most amazing mayor, I believe, for 16 years. And nobody, nobody has even ever run against her. Mm. Never. Until this last term. Everybody knew nobody's going to get it. And 90%, well, 98% of the people in the city didn't show up because they knew she was going to get it. Wow. She didn't get it. There you go. But the point is, is she lost because of lack of vote. Everybody took it for granted that mm. she was a shoe-in. You got to stay engaged. You, we have to stay engaged. We have to stay committed. And as believers, if every believer, uh, something I said to President Trump, the uh, there are eighty to ninety million evangelicals in America alone. If every one of us voted and voted the right way, it'd be done. There's mm -hmm. no way. There's no way evil could have root in America. That's really a good statement. Really, yeah. really good. Well, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, Gene and my conversation here and also his amazing message that he shared with you. And I want to thank you so much. I want to encourage you to get his book. Absolutely amazing book. And uh, it will help change your life. And we need to get, we, our job is to pray for those that are over us. Our mayor, our sheriff, this, the police department, all the way up. The governor, senators, president, etc. That is our responsibility to pray for them. And I want to encourage you to continue to do that. I want to thank you so much for watching Miracles Happen. We'll be back once again next week with a new show. And also, I want to encourage you to give into miraclesHappen.tv. You can hit slash donate and be a part of what we're doing around the world. And God bless you. Miracles Happen. Thanks for watching Miracles Happen. Contact us at miraclesHappen.tv or give us a call at 1-281-789-7500 or connect with Joan on Facebook at facebook.com slash Joan Hunter. And make sure to join us next week for Miracles Happen. God is a God of hope who heals the body, spirit, and soul. Are you ready for your miracle? Miracles happen.